Hi, um, I'm making a very, very quick crumble. I've got in here some frozen uh, cherries, uh, two teaspoons of uh, sweetener, and a half a teaspoon quick shake of uh, cinnamon. And I weighed out um, 30 grams of oats, the other half of the teaspoon of cinnamon. And these are, um, yeah, mandarins. I was going to um, use apricots, but I ran out. I'm so sad. <laughs> so I'm using this instead of milk, and it does bring the oats together for a nice topping. It goes quite sticky. Um, I do think the tinned apricots do a good job, a very good job actually. But so this is an experiment. I'm wondering how it will turn out. So it's orange and cherry with cinnamon. A bit of an unusual flavour of com uh, combo flavours, but um, nonetheless, I think it stands a good chance of being very nice. Smash it down a little bit. Yummy, look at that. So the juice um, and the flesh of the oranges will soak into the oats and it will bake into a nice topping. That's going on top and that's it bake it for about 25 minutes there you go should be a nice color as well because of the ingredients I've used there you go I was going to put some almonds on but I think I've run out I may try and find a couple of points of almonds let me have a look in my cupboard can you see the arms up there? No, I've run out. Okay, so yeah, no almonds, never mind. So there it is. Mandarin and oat uh, mock crumble top with a cherry and cinnamon base. I'll update you with the results on how it tastes. <coughs> wow, that smells good. And the cherries are cooked through. Look at the juice rising up. That looks really, really nice. So it should be quite tart and sweet going on with the flavours. So it's a mandarin and oat topping and a cinnamon and cherry base. Shall I try some? <laughs> it might be very hot. Oh wow, that's unusual. Yeah, it's very good, it's different. Mmm, you're not having any burger away. It's mummies. Okay, that's a winner to me. Um, it's the first time I've tried mandarins mashed up with the oats for the topping. I've used banana before, that's fantastic. And I've also pointed tin prunes. That was well worth it. Uh, but my favourite has always been the tinned apricots in the juice and you drain it and mash it up the same way as you do the mandarins. But that mandarin and cherries, um, yeah, it's quite tart and sweet. It's lovely. I'd recommend it.